Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel and we are going to take a look at the Grimmy Pack tonight. Grimmy Pack can now be downloaded from the Giants website. It should make its way over to Steam and Epic as well as console stores sometime tomorrow. Don't really know when that's going to show up, but uh, typically I guess when stuff shows up in those platforms it should show up there. How's everybody doing tonight? We are joined with... Kuki and, well, Rasnik's hanging around here somewhere. There he is. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Why is it Joker in the midst? Check out my hat. Howdy. Company man. Oh, boy. That was that thought. I see the, uh, I see the, the company uh, sales guy came around to your farm already. <laughs> he dropped off a hat. All right. Uh, I might want to buy a third planter. We can yeah, uh, get to, I got it. Get to planting. Tuki, you head out. I'll get it. I'll get the third planter. We've got a bunch of seed potatoes up here by the farm. We are on. Oh, what is this? Donna Lipinki Lim or something. is a map that we were we did a multiplayer playthrough on way back early on in farm sim 19's life uh, I was a pig farmer back then and uh, the map's been updated since then it's been expanded a whole lot but it uh, feels good to be back on here uh, that's right, Thor. We'll be trucking in 24 hours. Oh, good. I was theorizing this could work. Back on under there. Might have to hop in the, uh, the belt. You got fertilizer anywhere? Ah, uh, the, they're all fertilized. Yeah. Oh, the fields are like fertilized. There we go. Neat that little belt thing. Now we need Raz to show up. Hey, Alfredo Farms, Connor, Goldeneye, Jamberry, Thor, to find the way in here. Ghost Rider, Ohio Bryce, James, Langer, everybody else that I have not seen. Oh my gosh, he's got the old boy. <laughs> Go ahead and lower it and back up underneath it. All right, now we all are seated up. Oh, let's get to work. Ah, no GPS. We have to free drive this. This ain't gonna be pretty then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to turn it on, you just drop it in the plant. So old school. 
used to having to turn everything on. How's everybody doing tonight? Ah, uh, the the conveyor does telescope. We will we'll do that next time we have to refill. But yes, anybody that this wants to, nice really is. anybody that wants to buy this over Giants, you can do that right now. Well, that is how Razik and Tuki got it. We got Giants code, went to the Giants site and downloaded it. It will, of course, show up on all the other platforms at some point tomorrow, no doubt. I keep telling myself I should play a Polish map, but then it seems like a new one comes out every other day. <laughs> <laughs> I know, who was it in Discord that was like, what, there's Polish maps? It's like, it's like the most popular map on the Giants model. Hey Ryan, what's up? Reddit Virus. How are you doing tonight? Now if you own the Season Pass, if you picked up the Season Pass when the Premier Edition came out, or the Premium Edition, then it should be available to you sometime tomorrow on your platform of choice. We'll be we'll be uh, streaming ATS tomorrow, Connor. Doing the um, what is it? Hall of Hope. What's that ATS event called? Hauling Hope. Oh, that's it. Hall of Hauling Hope. Not um, Holland's Hope. Holland's. <laughs> Calling some vaccines. See, you survived. Oh, yeah. Both injections? Yeah, yeah the second one wasn't even that bad, to be honest with you. For me, um, I, mean, I know it's different for everybody, but I felt worse after the first one. Yeah, Golden Eye will be doing that tomorrow night. Are you going to be joining us? Uh, it was I not last time I looked for it. CDC once a week wanting me to report in. <laughs> sure you haven't grown a second head or anything? We got rabbits <laughs> down here. Rabbits? Yeah, we got ra a rabbit coop down here. Not real rabbits. Not like animated rabbits. Like, that would be so cool on Hoff Bergman to have animated rabbits. Oh, yeah. Did you see that video that Fabio posted? Apparently you can uh, have, uh, you can lead your calves now. Oh, no, I haven't watched that yet. Yeah, like you, uh, you, you go up to a calf and somehow you basically attach a lead to it and walk it. And then you can walk it into the animal trailer. And then... Or I guess walk it from one pen to the next, or whatever. I'm like, that looks really cool. Leave it to the mod father. Yeah, they do some pretty cool stuff over there. So, so I got a funny, funny story. I was, I was, I was socially engineered on this. I guarantee you. So, a couple months ago, one of our three indoor cats just vanished. I didn't notice for weeks. But my wife comes back from a trip, and she's like, have you seen this cat? I'm like, I'm um, pretty sure I saw it while you were gone. But, no. So we think somehow it got out. We were doing some basement renovation. So she's had on Facebook this post about this lost cat for 
months. And every so often she runs and tries to find this cat that someone says they think it's it. So one day she goes all the way across town. This guy's got a post. She brings this cat home. And I look at it and I'm like, there's no way you thought this was that cat because this cat's face is completely different. Like completely the wrong shape. So then she's like, okay, well, we'll we'll just keep it over the weekend and then take it down and to the vet and see if it's got a chip. Okay, fine. So of course the youngest kid gets immediately attached to it. Because it's clearly been a house cat because it like lets you do anything it wants to it. Um so he gets attached to it. Turns out the cat the, the cat was chipped and it was some deaf lady who owned it. When they found out it was chipped, it was chipped to some place in Maryland. How the heck did cat get down here? But she gave it to this deaf lady when her husband died. So, like of course, you know, the cat goes back and then he has a problem and all depressed and so they go to the SPCA over the weekend and basically adopt these, guess what, two cats. They come back and they're like, yeah, the, the cats that we adopted. And I said, cats? Why did you say cats? When did we agree to cats? I'm like, well, it's a two-for-one sale. Of course it was a two-for-one sale. Yeah, so, so, okay. So then today... She shows me this picture a couple streets over of this possible, you know, of the cat that we lost. It looks pretty much like the cat we lost, no doubt. So then it turns out that the two kittens that they're looking to get from the SPCA are currently being, like, their house in a foster home, okay? Well, the foster parent of these cats is the same silly woman that supposedly maybe has seen our other cat been gone for months you can't write this script what the heck all right so uh let's go ahead and show you this so we can telescope uh, girl i work with she the belt. just got like scammed that? for like sixteen hundred dollars for a dog She found some website. Did you get scammed with a dog? Like well, you... Not purebred or something? No, they you never get the dog. Can you bet? Yeah, like they do all the payments through... It's, it's weird, like... They have third-party payers and all. I told her immediately after she started telling me what was going on. I was like, you should have knew right away that something was... Uh, Do you, like, buy a dog through some random website and they somehow send it to you? Well, she showed me the website, and it's, like, miniature or mini puppies or something. I can't remember what it was called. But the website just looks full-on legit, right? And you pay for, um, like, they, they have all this thing about, you know, how they, the dog, they're, uh, you know, a broker for breeders all over the country and blah, 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 blah. And, you, you know, you, you pick out your dog and you put down like a, a securement fee so that when the puppy's of age, then you, you know. And then they steal pictures from all these other companies' websites and put them on theirs so they have new dogs all the time. But they really don't. They're just scamming people out of money. But then she was explaining it to me how it was. She started explaining the payment system to me right away, and I'm like, "So, like, you pay through eBay and all kind of." I'm like, mm, "Yeah, that's a red flag right there." Yeah, yeah, you really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, the whole time thing, and it was. Pay you your credit card. You call them up and say this is a scam. Yeah, but you have but to pay it, through like eBay and set up an eBay account. Yeah, like, yeah, they they don't want you to pay with a credit card. I wonder why. 
I don't know why they don't want you to pay with a credit card. Yeah. I told her to contact eBay. I'm sure. It's like eBay Pay or whatever they have. I said, I'm, I'm sure they'll take care of it. That and the state police. It's probably somebody outside the country. Uh, Justin, we will darn well try I to show all the pieces of equipment. Pay, like through a third party pay. We will try our best. It's probably not a good idea. Or if they ask you to pay in gift cards. You I've don't got. Want to do that. I've got multiple fields set up to plant, weed, and harvest. And uh, if we get through the stream and we still need to do stuff, well, we'll fast forward time and... Uh, so that belt doesn't get much higher than that, huh? No, it doesn't. You know, it's probably not intended to fill these cedars. I was just being stupid and like, hey, I wonder if I can use this belt to fill the cedars with. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's it it will raise up enough that you can get another belt under it. But then, you know, the big belt that lifts way high, you could put yeah. under it. Or the, or the, the extender belt. Yep. Um, or if you have something low, you could just do that. I was just like, huh, I wonder if I could fill these cedars with that belt. That would be neat. Kind of works. Hey Henry, nice what's up? The product. It sucks that it doesn't work from here. I know, I, I forgot to. I had I was home working today and I had a kid. It's homeschool day. And, you know, you didn't want to school home. I had that problem. Oh, tell him it's like look you've got you got three homeschool days two in school days and they assign you all this computer work to do and it's in your best interest to do as much of this computer work today and tomorrow because when you go to school on Wednesday your teacher is going to give you a folder and she's going to expect all that paperwork to be done by Friday, because then on Friday you're supposed to turn that paperwork back in. So it benefits you to do as much computer work today and tomorrow as you can. That way on Thursday you can focus on just the paperwork. No, he wants to he wants to know the exact bare minimum that he could do today, so that he does the bare minimum for three days, and then he gets it all done. But you're going to be having a whole lot of work to do on Thursday. Need to understand this. <laughs> Sounds like all kids. Mine's been out since last week because he got exposed. He gets to go back tomorrow. But then Wednesday is a virtual learning day. The county does these random virtual learning days that nobody really knows why. Yeah. We went from we went from four day virtual school to two days of in school, three days of out of school learning. It's like how does how does that matter? I was going to school for two days and then having three days of of non non actual teacher instruction. Because we used to have one day of non teacher teacher instruction. And four days of virtual teacher instruction where he's on Zoom meetings for five hours out of the day. But now he's three days of just self paced, if you will, online stuff and paperwork. And two days of Instagram. But it doesn't strike me as equivalent. And then today, today we had a little snow yesterday evening. Today, teachers were on a two-hour delay because of a little bit of snow yesterday. It's like, what? And when I got up this morning, everything was nice and dry.
Go ahead, Tuki. Can't see you lining up down there. But no, you're good. That's too focused on a tree I was trying not to hit. Y'all doing a great job for being, you know, guiding steering junkies. Hey, 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 I can do this. They're narrow enough, I can just line the tires up pretty much. Yeah. But I, I, mean, I like... It's... I like the mechanical nature of these things. You just drop them and they work. Yeah, I do too. I like it. I like the animations. Like, I had it, I had it dropped, and then I was backing it under the belt, and I could see the, the potato belts working backwards because I was going backwards. So, what question do you guys have in chat? Try to uh, follow along and address those. At, uh, John Deere planter in the coast is. Uh, it's not electrical or hydraulic. It's. I guess wheel driven. It's got some cool animations in it. Seven thousand in-game mod hub. They want I'm using on West Coast or Shore, whatever it's called. It's pretty nice. I gotta I gotta fix the XML so it'll take the new work. Yeah, it's good. It's good water balanced. Look how much weight what fifteen hundred gallons is. Five hundred fifty gallons. Right however big those are. I think the liquid part's 800, and then the seed is... I can't remember. I think this there might be eight, seven or eight, and then the seed is like three or four. Liters, that is. This didn't take long. Three little tractors just hammering it out. Now we gotta go get these weeders. Hey, Justin, what's up? I forgot to ask. Bold and I, I was. That was that was the point of the whole homeschool story. Was I was intending to ask, but then never got to it. Oh, hey, Jay. Happy birthday early. Ah, uh, Farmer Johnson, I don't know if such a thing would be realistic though now that we're done planting let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at this stuff in the mod hub not the mod hub but in the store so this is obviously the grimmy pack and we're just going to go to the category of course, we've got the in-game stuff. We've got the Tata Topper. We've got oh, the, the pull-behind harvester. The default game lines are... <laughs> we've got the cedar and another uh, the planter. And and another planter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have another potato topper here. It oh, bothers that's, me that's when I see beets. that happen once in a while. Like, oh, I'm just going to sit there and sugar beets. plant a field that way. There we go. Some belts. And then we move into the Grimmy pack. That's got these, right. This will look weird. These cool work. weeders. These are specialty purpose weeders that are designed to dig weeds up between the rows. We have a two row. 
four row and we can get him with baskets on the back and then a six and an eight row sorry these are weeders designed for free crop emergence oops then we have two planters that we're using a two row 500 liter planter and then this one has the ability to add 300 liters of fertilizer but it's still 500 liters on the back end this one you get standard or you can get these kind of row scoops to put in there to kind of define the uh, the rows then we move into the harvesters the pull behind diggers or harvesters i call them diggers uh, but these are designed to cut the earth with these discs and then scoop up the dirt right there and then kind of sift out the dirt with this belt and then it deposits the potatoes in the back onto the ground uh, we've got the 200 s this one is pretty much the same design as the 200 echo or eco except it's designed to then take a belt and with a little hydraulic motor here um, put them out to the side left swath or right swath what's cool about this is the whole model changes pto shifts this little gearing mechanism shifts from one model side to the next then we have the larger pull behind version same width as all the others but this one has a thing that unfolds and then it guides them into a much narrower windrow directly behind the harvester it is trailed so it's not putting a bunch of weight so you don't necessarily need a counterweight um, like you might on these others these others are fully three-point hitch attached when you're driving them around they don't use the wheels until you lower them then we have what looks like the in-game harvester right this looks a lot like um this thing right here doesn't it but this Sorry about that. is a harvester the other is designed to collect right potatoes so off the, the ground sunflower field <laughs> and then put them up here in the hopper so that's pretty cool we can get it with standard in theory, people would stand here and kind of toss out the bad potatoes. Get a little I don't know why awning to go over there so they don't get uh, in the sun a ton. And then oh, we have right, this have cool little better. palletizer. We'll put the potatoes on it, and then it will make pallets, 1,790 liter pallets. Now we've got the drivable. Oh, did you get kicked? Yeah, I got booted. We have the drivable um, conveyor belt that we were using to fill the cedars with or the planters with. This can be used for just about anything you can think of with potatoes. Now, yesterday I tried it on our Klein Howe live stream and I couldn't get it to pick up manure. So I need to figure out from Team FSI uh, what's going on with that, why it wouldn't pick up manure. But it's a cool little a little contraption and then we have some trailers with the pack this one holds 19,000 liters i really like this this is a v design and then we have the belt to kind of push material out the back this does not tip it just unloads straight out the back white and red so now that this dlc is out what's the next one and then we have 35,000 a little bigger trailer like jcb or something like that that's just speculation speculation i thought i'd ask the ambassador and then the last thing which isn't a a um a grimmy around to me personally i like see Kubota or versatile common game and this is designed where you can unload straight from the trailer into this hopper and then this hopper will then feed yeah, with the belt don't have a... up into this licensing contract with them do they let's go get a cedar or weeder i don't think of it no
contracts with the main Kubota. That is independent uh, subsidiary brand of something else. I don't think either one of those are. I think they're. Uh... I'm surprised we don't see more Mahindra tractors because clearly they have a Mahindra. Um, um, license. Biggest tractor Kubota has, like 130 horse or something like that. Yeah, I can't keep up with their stuff anymore. I remember when they used to, you know, see like they only made lawnmowers, now they got just about everything. Yeah. Does Tuki have the, um, uh, the, uh, what's that? What's that white one? What's the white and red tractor? I got the Massey with the uh, smallest weeder. Who has the white and red tractor? I have the Steyr. Yeah, yeah, I need to switch with that. I don't have the eight horsepower to pull this thing. Just can bring it up to the field and we'll switch. Yeah. I don't think it'll work. Let's see. I'm gonna see if it works. Just on this. Oh, lucky it's working. Yeah, most of our requirements are. Are optional? Well, I, you know, in 17 it just wouldn't work sometimes, but 19 it. Any tractor will almost work, it just might go really slow. <laughs> yeah, now the. Uh... I planted this field with easy dev controls. That's why the uh, yeah, can tell things are sideways. Obviously, we would realistically be going the other direction. And I guess you would use arrows, right? Run in between the rows. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Hey, Will, what's up? Now we're using the weeder. The weeder actually going on. Really nice animations on these things. Be happy to go the other direction, down the hill. I think that uh, the other has been mostly debunked as a mod team. That made some social networking posts about working on a pack gotcha. that was then possibly exaggerated beyond the scope for which it was really intended. already more DLC we're gonna get for this version? I don't know. I don't have any. No insider info on that. Because this one is a it's a giant but with a partner, right? It's a This I think technically and I need to go back because I don't think it was with the FS nineteen map. I think this was technically the award for the FS-17 mod contest. I think technically 
a guy that did the modern classics pack that did come out in 17. I think there was a second winner that also pitched this potato pack. Because I remember thinking in 17, you know, there was this, oh man, I can't wait till this potato thing comes out because potato pack sounds really cool because, you know, smaller potato yeah. equipment, more potato Either. equipment. And then it never happened. And it was like, I wonder what ever happened to this potato thing. And then this potato thing happens. So I was thinking maybe that I was just mis remembering. So I don't know if it was a prize for an FS19 mod contest or if it was a prize for an FS17 mod contest that they awarded two. And then this one obviously took much longer to put together. Okay. Uh, the Modern Classics DLC yeah, in 17, that's in now a mod. The mod we had last year. The Swiss Future Farm and all that stuff. We got horse pack, wasn't it? I can't even remember who won it. Is it off to, who won the Swiss Future Farm? Was it off to David? Or I actually get me to use weeders. I kind of like these. Well, these are kind of interesting weeders. The animations are nice, and I kind of like the sound on it, too. I mean, now, with, with seasons, they're not really that useful. Because if you weed in an entire field, the, it only gets rid of the weeds that are there. Yeah, you're better off just spraying those seasons. Yeah, because yeah, it won't... It doesn't apply a sprayed effect, so weeds will just grow more. Yeah, but the, the, but the idea of having a, a specialty purpose weeder for the purpose of going between these, you know, the, the, the hills, the mounds that the potato planter makes, is a pretty interesting idea. It would be interesting to see, you know, if you could run this through a cornfield. What happens? The weeds. You know, I would guess it does. And we can test that. Let's go test it. Let's see it does. You can buy this field above us at 17. That's it. Yep. We're gonna make magic happen. Already drove over at once. Hey, Constance, what's up? And through the power invested in me I hereby pronounce this field corn oh with weeds Definitely digging up weeds. Still has corn in it. Yeah. I'm sure it's just a weeder. 
far as the game recognizes it. Rain, I don't know. How do you make rain? What do you mean? after the first growth stage, right? Uh, I don't know. Drop construction on you can. Yeah. Yeah, and can you... Yeah, can I they, think that's it. Can they be mature weeds? Probably not. That's what I thought. I thought if they were mature, you had to spray them. I mean, like you said, it's just a... It's set up just as a weeder. Cultivator like like animations. Lane, if you mean rain like R A I N, as in water falling from the sky. Uh, you get a set weather type of rain in easy dev controls, and then it will make it rain. Or if you happen to know the, uh, the dev command, you pull up the dev console and you type it in. Your feels so small compared to yours. <laughs> do you want to you want to use this bigger one so you can so you, you feel better? Slip on. I mean, you can you can experience the real slippage that the new Holland has. <laughs> Being so underpowered and narrows. Yeah, so let's try this. Tato's stage two. Hundred percent. You think can you hire a worker to do it? Without seasons, yes. With seasons. Oh, yay, look. I'm not ripping up the crop. <laughs> Success. I'm sure I got some fast growing crops here in Poland. And yes, adult weeds are impervious to being dig dug up. Hey Jake, what's up? Or Jack, sorry. You make mud by using the mud mod script. It's time to harvest, that's the fun part. So you gotta have a you gotta play on PC and have a mud script and then mud has to be painted on the ground. That took years bad as me, I'm like I 
you you get every one of these. Oh, every time I do stuff manually, I end up going back to get every little spot. Topper, don't we? Nope. 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 Oh, I, not with narrow. That's I right. used the topper because I didn't want to use narrows. But now I'm using narrows. Positive. Haters on the ground. Yeah, they do it's this big belt. They want 150 for it. Or like, you got 150, not your ass. Yeah, here, you can use it. Here. If you want. Forgot about the horsepower and the tractors. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got the styre. The left bell or right? It's left. It's the one that's in the right line. We'll just hire helpers so we can kind of see the animations going on here. What? Why did you pick up? Hey, is it because of that stupid tree? Is it because of that stupid tree you're being stupid? It is, I bet. It is. Hey, FS fan 73, it does not become quicksand. It becomes mud. Mud. Now this one over here is lacking a little bit of animation because there was apparently a last minute change requested by the manufacturer Grimmy. And the result was that the animations were I think I did this wrong. were not working. So there's no animations on the side, use this side discharge. discharge yet. <laughs> A little altitude. So right now there aren't any animations like there are in the other one. Um, but that is already fixed. And I think the fix just was too late in, um, in getting out there to the first initial Turn deployment. It back on. But it should be fixed very soon. No idea when that update is supposed to be coming. Oh, Tukey's over here. Here you go. Where'd you go, Tukey? Oh, there he is over there. I came over to the field that Raz was in. And then we have the bigger one which is trailed and has the same working width but is designed to deposit more in a windrow than the others. Oh 
man, I was hoping it'd pick up my pile of potatoes I had here. Well, this headland's gonna be fun. I'll make sure you're picking them up. It worked like a wind rower. You're <laughs> where it would pick They're up. thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Make a big giant. I was watching a video on YouTube the other day where they they use a thing like that and drop it on an unharvested row and then just go along and pick them all up. Basically the process. It's switchable Jacer in the shop. It's not switchable in field. Yeah, the side discharge is kind of best if you work you know, on you know around the field. Up one side, down the other. I think. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, treat it kind of like a single rotor wind rower. Yeah, because they don't overlap so good. Then once we get them all harvested, we need to collect them in our trailers. And then I have the potato warehouse, which is the building that is available in the pack. I haven't really talked too much about that. Uh, over on another part of the map. I think my favorite one is the one that you're, you have two key, two fifty. Oh, that's a really interesting the animations idea. animations on this one. It's a real good kid, real good kid. In chat, it says it'd be interesting if someone made a bulk loading wagon that let you pick up taters. Interesting. Auto loads. Well, like a like a like a forage wagon that was configured for bulk. And 17. So, so you could pick up on field potatoes. That'd be different. In 17, I remember they had the bulk loading wagon thing. That, remember, it just picked up everything off the ground. Didn't matter what it was. Since they're on the ground, could you use that uh, helper mod for the. Terrafellas, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't think of what that overloader thing was called. Yep. Yeah. And it, it's got the big slide, right? Yeah. Just go through the whole field and just suck them all up. That's kind of what I was thinking in single player if it works. So I guess this thing is spaced really for two rows at a time. This digger. Oh, it would need to be modded. This Terrafellus only does beat. I think there's a potato one. Somewhere, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. It's been a long time since I looked at those. Uh, there is a... 
there is a the Nawa row mouse the mouse uh is yeah it's the mouse is configured to pick up everything but potatoes and beans. yeah that's what i was thinking of so it's like this will pick up everything but potatoes and beets the mouse whereas there's the ones that pick up the beets um but it doesn't look like there's any thing available in game that would pick up potatoes yeah, I was thinking the of that mouse, one. Mouse 5 or the Terrafellus 3 would need to be modded to pick up potatoes. Good idea, no such person. Good idea. Let's get something bigger. Bigger and badder. Oh. What did you buy? You got a lag spike right when you did that. Oh, a Massey 7719. Oh, a trailer. Oh. Oh, let's take a look at our building. I swear I thought I saw another mod that picks up potatoes, wasn't there? I'm, that, sure there, I'm sure there is. There's that weird John Deere thing that digs them off like this. So, or, part of the pack oh, wasn't is... Oh, was there a conveyor belt thing that just came out the other day? Yeah, $195,000 yeah, potato like warehouse. Yeah. Right here. That is right there. Now, I've painted this. I've done a little bit of landscaping and painting to make this purdy. So you got your building. It's nice block and wire in the glass. We got a cooling system set up for the potatoes. details on this building really cool like in the rain gutter is like it's like warm the roof we've got like rivets yeah polish maps are i mean i'm talking now i'm talking about this potato warehouse oh yeah it's part of it's, the pack it's cool and i like the how it has like the old kind of glass on the top It's like that old warehouse glass. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should see this windrow I made. It's beautiful over here. Big giant row of potatoes. We have our duct work. Our grates for our air conditioner coming out. Nice fans to keep the air moving around. This is our belt. Sorting belt. We had unfold. There's quite the delay on the um Now what would be cool on the unfolding is if animation. The side discharge had an extendable boom. Then here's that lizard Where belt you could, like, hopper. Dump. Yeah, you could We're gonna adjust be using it that here in a little bit. Different kinds of rows together that'd be useful so let's uh fly back over to the shop yeah, it's a really nice building
And I'm coming over to check out your windrow. Hey, you got it. It's just this big, beautiful one right down the middle. Get this cleaned up, then, or I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> it's excellent. So yeah, you take the take the center dropper and run it right down the middle, then then you take the left discharge and run it down each side. Like I was oh, saying, oh, so like a team effort. Be, yeah, wouldn't it be cool though if you could extend this side dropper and then we could you can move it way over to the one row. That'd be cool. Yep, well, it's locked away behind DRM. So, if I'm looking at this right, the digging action is just a physical scoop. Yep, there's the, the black cutters on either side to basically cut into the dirt. And then it looks like there's just blades that dig into the ground and just as a sheer horsepower pulling the plates dig down up under the you know, up under the uh, potatoes real life you would top them though, right because otherwise you have all I would, this I yeah would think. i mean the store <laughs> says and i'm i'm guessing because i'm not such great with vocabulary but the store says, um, uh, please remember you need a Hallam cutter before you use this machine. I mean, assuming Hallam is meaning, you know, the, the leaf part of the plant. Yes. I would assume you would technically, yeah, it says the topper, the KS 75 S four says, Foliage needs to be cut with the hallum topper, like this one. In theory, you would top your field and then use the digger. But what we're demonstrating is technically you don't have to. Technically works. Just looking in the shop, you says you don't need one for this bigger one. It's got like the cutter built into it for the yeah, front of it does have a cutter. That's that's why it's so much more horsepower. Yeah, it's set up kind of like the harvester with the digger cutter thing on it. Yep, yep, that's right. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, Ooh, Christmas people. Show the details on this thing, not get back in the tractor. What I think is really cool is the uh, there's like these brushes on this pick up pick up the potato and they're like individually modeled. I'm surprised they went that detailed when I was watching your video on it last night. Close up with a pickup. I love the dirt dropping effects. That's really cool. the dirt just kind of falls out. Yeah, it just sifts out. I mean, it would be nice if this held more. 
but I mean, potatoes are big. Potatoes take up a lot of volume. And when you measure things in liters, potatoes are pretty eager volume for it. So we are full, sadly. We're going to pipe out. We hit O to pipe out. The, uh, the top goes away because the um, conveyor raise is up. And then... Oh, someone's... Oh, maybe Tuki went and got the... Uh, Did you go and get the trailer? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think Raz and Leo. Okay, I'll go grab the other it. one once I get this field done. Okay, somebody else. You can't use a worker to pick up, can you? No, no. It doesn't identify there's a window on So I don't have. Uh, X. Sorry. I was. No, I had white mode enabled, and I hit O, and therefore I hid my screen. So I went to hit O again to see the F1 menu to see if I could add mouse control of the. Discharge chute, and uh, then I obviously piped in. It's perfectly lined up on three rows. That does. This one does like two really good. Yeah, picked up real good. Picked up that big window, real nice. Yeah, I think it's those three two rows, but it aligns with three from the way they are in game. Oh, that's really cool. I'm mean, just seeing the potatoes make that turn, and then they get on that thing with those big rubber. Fingers, so I can just knock off, knock the big, any dirt off of them, kind of clean them. Hey, Wingnut3000, how you doing tonight? Glad you're excited for the pack. I think this is really cool. Uh, I think a lot of people will get into potatoes a little bit more. I mean, I don't think it's going to become the most popular crop in farm sim. But I think it will become a more popular crop uh, simply because it's it's uh, more financially viable. I think the trick is is don't don't overwhelm yourself. Like don't plant a big giant field. You do have like a wood chip to stash. Just gonna make a small field and Enjoy do some it. every year or two. Yeah. Spend a couple hours. Yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to know this map. Or a Polish type map that had yeah. small fields to begin with. Yeah, I really like this map. <laughs> I hey. love these fields. It, it, it gets you more interested. Who wants to run the picker upper? Oh, you can go ahead right now. Okay. Switched over to the trailer to unload here. Finish this. Uh, Oh, uh, you can follow me. And that the helper up on that other one. Yeah, it's not my helper up, because I'm gonna... I'm gonna jump to the one you were using, Tuki, because I don't want to try that one. Uh, yeah, grab the helper off of it then. 
Uh oh. Looks <laughs> 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 like over there. Seventy one percent full already. Uh let me check yeah, this. Go get the big trailer. That's what I'll do. Let me finish this field up and that's what I'll do. I'll get the helper straight down and then I'll go well, get I'm the going, big trailer. We're going six miles an hour. I'll do it like a forge harvester. <laughs> I gotta get my cruise control back all the way down. I know, I should have put the Speed matcher. That's what out. I was just thinking. Didn't think about it. I was, I was just all focused on minimal, minimal mods to make it easy. Thank you, of course. <laughs> it's nice having the boosted uh, Discord. All right, later, programmer. Thanks for dropping by. Oops. Eh, that's my fault. I was playing with Cruz. I got out of this. Uh, yeah, that's run. my fault. I'll be full pretty quick here. I'll be here just a second. I got a to buffer. Their wheels might have touched a little. I won't tell if you won't tell. <laughs> just don't talk about it in that HR. Where'd you say where the house was? On the other side of the map, you see those green dots? Close to the field. 20 something? It's like southeast. Kind of near the shop? No, way, way, way far away. Yeah, I'll just tab through until I find the thing that was there. There you are. There you are. You made it down there. Oh yeah, you did put that a ways away. That, honestly, that's about as flat as spot I could find that was big enough to fit it. Without going through and doing a bunch of forestry like the last minute. For those of you that have downloaded this had a chance to try it out what do you think let's, let's hear your thoughts in the comments the jump phone kind of near the conveyor belt or uh you can if you line it up right you can dump them in the conveyor hopper and then, all right then get in start the belt thing enable pallet mode oh you know what i didn't get anything to remove the pallets you could have skid loader at the farm I can get some forks for her to take it down. Okay. Or forklift, that might be easier. Yeah, forklift works. Yeah. Huh. Works really good. Yeah. It's power sim physics though, so I'm sure something will mess up. <laughs> forklift, telehandler. get lost in the process. Raz is bringing me the big trailer, but okay. We'll get the trailer. All right, we'll be down there, Eddie. Don't worry, we'll be down there.
<laughs> underbought, this thing is not going to do it. This thing is not going to cut it. Gonna need something bigger. There we go. Yeah, just a little flood damage. This big trailer needs a lot of horsepower. It's heavy. Crush all the potatoes we're driving on. Not like the monster much. Do the sides fold down on that one? Oh, yeah. Fancy, and then they fold up by themselves when it gets to a certain field. Oh, that's neat. I'm not going to touch it. I mean, we're going to we're going to fold up at some point. Oh, there they are. They're filling up. Fold it up. That trailer works with all fill types. Right? Yep, pretty much. Chipped all over just to... I need to. Uh, I need to look in the shop and see if it's set to bulk. The map is multi fruit, so let's see if it picks up those. Or if it's just standard in game fill types. Let's take a look in this shop. Uh, it's set up as bulk because it's picking up the multi fruits, picking up the new crop types. We'll move forward a little. Yeah, with the rear discharge like that, it's really cool. I can see you transporting all kinds of things in it. Did you get the palletizer to figure it out? It's going to take me a while to get down there, so I had to go get something to move pallets. Uh oh. The, the I should have just bought a low loader and a sub <laughs> iron. Did you did you buy the forklift and you're moving like five miles an hour? Yeah, I went to the forklift at the shop and bought some pallet fortress skid loader too. That's what I'm in right now. It's like it's like I drove that belt down from the shop. <laughs> it took a good five, ten minutes. Oh yeah. Jason said it'd be a good compost room. It's a good everything trailer, really.
I actually don't have any problems dumping anywhere since it doesn't tip at all. Right, doesn't tip. I mean, you lose capacity because of the steel you know, in the trailer and giving it the V shape. But, you know, it's, it's got to guide it into that narrow belt. Yeah, but how much does that one hold? 35,000. You're only talking like a little bit less than a big tipper or big trailer. So here's the thing I wonder if somebody can get this stuff to work with uh, carrots. Yeah, that's what I was kind of wondering, too. Uh, uh, well, it's not locked away in DLC. No, it is locked away, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so probably not till the next version if they port it over. Yeah, unless, I mean, I think, I think mod, mod gurus would know how to manipulate the XML to be able to do it. Mod gurus like like for example the um, the there's that weight pack that was updated to work with uh, the Kloss tractors and it's like a store config you know the one where you can configure the the front weights it's a store option it's not like they're weights you attach that was updated to work with the Kloss tractors and the Kloss tractors are obviously DLC. Good the place finally. I don't think I got two cars behind me. Yeah, you should have saw how aggressive the car was that was behind me when I drove the belt. I mean, he kept he kept revving up and speeding up, and then you're right behind me and then slow down. I mean, he was aggressive. I'm like, dude, I'm going as fast as my little motors can carry me. Get this one full. We'll go down and watch Tuki run the palletizer. I just turned it on. I forgot to turn it on that whole time. These just crates are too much for skid loader almost. Yeah, they are bigger than, like, the in-game box pallets. Yeah, I'm not sure if the forklifts are going to be able to handle them. I moved them with the forklift in my video. I think the forklift can lift more than the skid here. So how's the game cave coming along? Gamer's Den. Got uh, some trim up today. And some shelf on the outside wall. And my wife can put her basement back together. Boss powered through and painted it all in like in yeah, one fell swoop. She crushed it. If I needed this awesome painter, we would have. Uh, We've done lots of things. <laughs> like work. Never overachieve. Figure out what the boss is expecting and do just a hair over that.
forklift feels so much faster at 15 miles per hour. Oh my. Uh, that didn't do any issues with skid loader. Red tractors for red equipment. Good team red. Your tires are spinning. <laughs> Mine are? Yeah. I'm telling you, this trailer's heavy or even load it down. Yep. I got the K70, what was the 7000 series? I could barely get this trailer to like 12 miles an hour flat on an asphalt. Percentage you at? Cool. Oh. My candy stripe cover. All right. Didn't take much off that field to fill us both. Let's get a lot up to speed. Uh, when you me measure by liters. And I don't know how big a liter is, but I bet you can't get too many potato in a liter. That made me crash when you bought that. Oh, you did? I almost did. I lagged down and almost hit a building when he, whatever he just bought. The big Grimmy. The big boy. I didn't buy anything. Pop up in the corner. That was Mr. Razdick. Spending my money. <laughs> uh, that is enhanced vehicle. Saturday morning bacon. Over at modposter.com. Oh my gosh. I had no idea there was this big hill between me and the road. Somebody put a huge hill between me and the road. Yeah, I'm watching you try to drive on my laptop. Looks like you slowed down a lot. Four miles an hour. Dig, digging, digging hard. We didn't do a bad job on the distance scenery. I mean, it's obviously distance scenery, but it still works with the whole script field comes up. The ribbon farming. the viewers at home, this is what happens when you involve communism with farming. <laughs> it's not communal farming? This, this road over here makes it look nice across the map. Yeah, I remember playing this, and he expanded it quite a bit. Uh, G Chuck, I have no idea. I don't play Minecraft. I assume you build it with blocks, right? Ford going down a hill and I can't get past 26 miles an hour. How is this possible? Oh, I just realized I built this building between the church and its, and its grave site. <laughs> Oops. 
<laughs> I think I took a vacant lot that was intended for uh, grave sites. Yeah, we ain't got time to bury people. We've got potatoes. Maybe you buried a few people under the building on your farm in the concrete. The skid steer doesn't work. It's dropping too many FPS, I think, from the building. It was making me lag too much. But yeah, probably not to go higher than two. Because it's pretty light once you get a pallet on it. Change it to potato. What? Oh, I'm looking at the four front tires. They're all squashed. So cool. Squashed front tires. I mean, they are like flat. a little better. These tires are flat. This had more air in the tires. Can't steer. These rears don't have enough traction to steer. Get it pointed and drive. Uh, it's limp. For limp. Out the operation limp, 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 dinky. Limp, dinky, limp, 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 limp. I'll get in the motto. Limp, limp something. Hold on. Maps, we go to like page five. Six. Four. Here it is. Inbound in chat. Inbound in chat. There it is, folks. That is the map. Not Limp Biscuit. Jeez. I think another map that I think it's doesn't get enough play is um is Woodshire. Full name. Uh, New Woodshire? Yeah. That Richie F, I think. The map's been out for a long time. I don't get... It doesn't get enough... I don't think it gets enough attention. I've just seen it fly by here. I was trying to get a link for uh, this map. Uh, thanks for the super chat, Steve and Terex Corbin. When you go too long and get under the pallet somehow. So you, again, you enter this and uh, you can unfold it. Then you turn on pallet, you disable pallet creation. And then if you get up here super close, and I don't know how well this is showing up because it's a little blurry for me. 
Um, but what it does is it shows you an ongoing kind of how much you've loaded in kilograms. And Tuki's doing such a great job stacking the things. Let's fix this a little bit. Oh, look, we're calling it a traffic jam. Uh, it should be out tomorrow for Xbox. Uh, it's available over at Giants for direct download. It released over Giants at midnight CET. So it's not out yet for Xbox, PS4, or um, Sony, or not Sony, but Steam or Epic. So we went back up into here. There we get that. So we hit I. Then our door opens up, conveyor belt. So and then it just starts making pallets. Out of pallets. Really, so the pallet stacking award clearly goes to two. There's just no way anybody else is going to stack these boxes so so well, especially with pallet physics. Well, that's those pallets very often. Question that needs answered is do the pallets sell for more money for regular taters? One Question. way to find out. I my guess is no. Nineteen hundred liters worth of potato. Pretty much purpose behind behind pallet, you know, unless you want them for like pig food. I ain't just storing them so they're not in big piles. Uh, you're not the only one that's inquired. I, I meant to do it and I just didn't think about it yet. And so, other than, other than GTX's building. Uh, there was that, that root crop storage building that came out last week that I did a even noteworthy on. Uh, there's a couple other storage buildings and your multitude of, of unrealistic storage silos. There really aren't, there really isn't a lot of um, storage options for potatoes so you know you're left with either 
stacking them in piles. Oh my gosh, you get all kinds of those. So you're either left in stacking them in piles or crating them, you know. We'll put some on this trailer and go sell them and figure out what kind of money we get for it. Hey, Pablo, yeah, I guess what's it's up? Kind of like straw harvest, different way of selling them and packing them. Something to do. Something else to do. Oh, it's a different big building. I have to come back and do it. I'll play on this map. This was one of the first multiplayer maps we did, I think. Because we did, we tried to do the economy stuff, the FS19 economy stuff, and we found all the flaws and, and, and non-thorough thinking through the process of Giants. Yep, we found out that, you know, you bails, like if you bailed somebody's work form, they couldn't yeah. use your bails. And Can't transfer money until they're on. Hey, Rodolfo, is that right, Rodolfo? Welcome to the channel. Look at you, fancy high speed. <laughs> that on the track. <laughs> Let me try something. Are we concerned now that you said that? He's buying a bunch of belts. Let me see if we can make a big pile. Yeah, I get the feeling I'm holding up the operation a little. Alright, we're gonna do this cheaty way now, a super strength. There you go. E man, just tossing these potato boxes. I think that's good. Yeah, I don't think I'd risk it going too high. We know how glitchy this stuff gets. It's fine until you save the game and come back. And then it, they all fall over. So I don't even try to stack builds anymore. I just use GTX storage thing. Boxes, they look really nice. They got nice, like, shine, shellacken to them. Give you a shellacken. So, the other crate maker thing, that one in game one, is it a different crate? I thought those were smaller. It is. It's it's a uh, solid walled, it's, it's the same size as like the, um, uh, the sugar cane billet box. Just unblocking traffic here. All right, let's head over there and see what we sell these for. Hey, Ben, what's up? Uh, I don't know when it'll be, but it should be probably. I don't know, maybe. Did you get it? How did you buy it? Did you? Are you on console? 
Uh, are you on Steam or Epic? It's the green beam. Drive towards the green beam. Ah, PS4, okay. I would suspect if you remember, if you remember when the PS4 got like the, the Alpine Farming expansion, I expect that's when it will show up. Time frame for you. Still, probably my copy paste. There you go. Uh -oh. oh, we gotta wait. We gotta wait. Oh my gosh, somebody. Jeez. Completely took out part of that guy's field. You don't need to swing out so wide. Oh my gosh. Where are we going? There's weeds going. They're around the other side of this tree. I think it's even for all platforms. Now, we played on this map a long time ago. Completely different iteration. And changed out a fair bit. Okay. Alright, so each box is how much? 1750. We got an even 7,000 Letries product. And this is going to pay us out 297 per 7,000. 297 times 7 equals 2,079 buckaroos. Let's see what we get. Five twenty one each. All right, so five twenty one each. Divided by four. Yeah, five. Okay, so doing the math, doing the M A P H, doing the math, I should have got five nineteen seventy five. All that is. Rather interesting Giants rounding error. How I get 521 out of what I should have had 519 and a quarter, three quarters. They're really 1750. I mean, you could obviously go straight to the store or straight to the shop. Pay them, you know, straight out of the trailer. 
It has always been a lot of work. But you get crazy yield. As it's all based on leaders. Let me attach these. Uh that's it's it's like backwards. Like you have to be in the other one. Like the master. Here. For me, it's backwards, but it probably makes complete sense to the Germans. Yeah, pretty much. Same rate. Figured they would be. Oh, I don't know. I just clicked that one. I just started putting something out. What? Oh, that is cool. What'd you do? Oh. This got thing. like. It's got like a metal tunnel thing in the corner that you can set up across the warehouse. Yeah, it's a potato aeration tunnel. Oh, I saw those little things. I didn't know they did stuff. Something I could pick up. These little Easter eggs. Battery H, what's up? Hey, Daniel, thanks for the... Uh, Thanks for the chat there. Oh, washed potatoes definitely do when you add that mod. If you add that mod, washed potatoes definitely pay more. So we can get rid of that pallet and the forklift and the belt. Oh, I think I got it. I think I know what this does. Alright, FK. Come over here to this pile of white tunnel thingies and hit your mouse button. Oh. That is Nito. Oh, there's three of them. We didn't find that middle one before, I don't think. I didn't know there was a the middle one. Take the middle one away real quick. <laughs> yeah. Is it along the wall to take it down? Bossy. Well, also, you know where those aeration pipes come down from the building? Or did they blow? I think they blow up underneath the the grates. I don't know. There you go. Now try. Got, yeah, like, that's what it says. Center potato aeration tunnel. Yeah, see, I wanted to attach these two, but you can't attach them.
You, just, you don't get the attach? No. No, it's not there. So it looks like they should attach, just looking at the attachers. It should, but they don't. Or is that a hitch attachment for towing it? Put this way back here and then dump them in? Yeah, I was just gonna like. Because I think that's how they would do it, right? In real life? Yeah, that's what I was assuming from the way it looked. Is uh. You back in and dump. Pick it up with this thing. Oh, yeah. You didn't bring the other belt over? Oh, I, no, I can't get the dang thing to work right. That thing's so buggy. Alright, tip on the ground. There we go. There we go. I don't see a problem. Uh, oh, you have to do this with this one. Post this picture over here. She's too big. But yeah, you could, uh, I mean, you could do all kinds of fun stuff with this. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a huge building. It's just, the building's cool itself. Yeah. I didn't know those aeration tunnels were there. That's actually really cool. Fucking stuff. So, I'm really hoping that the two would connect, because then you could jump in this one and, like, just swing your boom around, you know? I know there's no sound. Hold on. All right, there we go. Now we're back. Yeah, there you go. That's well, I was I was tabbed out of the game, so there was no sound there for a moment. <laughs> There's something you could do. Yeah, and then you we could put a in. lot of potatoes in here. I was about to say, man, you could keep molting up. <laughs> yeah, then so you come in here later with that belt thing and uh, and collect them. And yeah, I do it in the reverse, pretty much.
All right, guys. I really so wish this thing went a little higher. I think it'd be really cool if it was just all one big piece. You know, it's still fun though. It's still all fun. right. What are, what are, what are your all's impressions of the pack? Four ninety nine. Uh, the building, I think, is <laughs> worth four ninety nine. But four ninety nine uh, for the building and to drive the little belt around it. I, I, the only thing, again, I wish you could turn the fans off. Yeah, you know? that's not the only complaint I have about the building. Because you want to have the fans running when there's nothing in here. Just be wasted power. But it is really cool, though. I kind of like the yellow light. Decals are really, really nice if you come look at them. They're in English, too. System potato. Let's see if there's like a hidden trigger around here. Yeah, you can almost read them. Keep this door and then scratched closed at all times unless access is required. For safety reasons, you can read it. There's a one, I think it's a slurry take mod, I don't remember what one, I was looking close at the decals are and it had a little, little easter egg one thanking you for reading it. Thank you for taking the time to actually read this decal. Hey, have yeah, you, it was something the modder put in. Have you checked the lights at night? Do these turn on? Uh, we'll do that right before we close out. No, I like it. I think it's, I think it's worth five bucks. Yeah, for I mean, five, for five bucks, I think it's easily worth it. Cheaper way to pick potatoes, and you get this awesome warehouse. Mention if, uh, if you don't buy it now and you wait like six months, you probably can get it for like a dollar fifty. It's on sale. Yep, the lights come on. That's cool. Did you close the gate? I did. The only way in and out is through the little door if you're on the inside. Or did it close by itself at night? No, I closed it. Okay. Oh, yeah, the windows look really cool. This looks cool at night, man. Yeah, I really like how they look lit up. Alright, guys, so that is going to do us. We're going to just like do a night, night flyby. But thank you for coming out and watching as we take a live stream look at the Grim Pack from Giant Software and My Team FSI. If you want to play with potatoes, it's pretty fun. And if you want to play with right other now, stuff, over at Giant's website, should be available for download on Steam, Epic, and the console stores sometime tomorrow. Uh, if you bought the Season Pass, which is part of the premium edition of Farm Sim. Uh, you should get it free as a result of that um, DLC or that Season Pass pack. I just love this glass. Like, I just think it's so cool. It's such a great texture. So tune in tomorrow. We will be on American Truck Simulator doing the hauling of hope or the hope haul or whatever it is. Uh, which is the kind of Thanks vaccine light was transport the and it see um, outside. event. And until next time, happy farming.